because you're so emotional. You'll laugh and joke one minute, then don't talk to me like that the next. Some people will say you need some papers. But I'm not going to say that. I might think it, but I don't. We have to understand that we need to be the people of God that are consistent with our service. Never know that I'm going through a hard time. Never know that my lights are about to be cut off. I still come in with the same praise. I still come in with the same hallelujah. I still give God the same glory as I did when I had a bunch of money. Still give him the same glory as I did before he cheated on me, before she left me, before they talked about me. I still give God the same praise point of understanding that the God that we serve is going to bless. He's going to deliver. And he will never, as the scripture says, and we've been saying it for years, he will never put more on us than we can bear. But we have to understand is that God is through the trial, through the temptation, through the stress. He's trying to take out of us everything that we don't need and to let us see that he's already placed in us everything that we need. He gave us the anointing of God and that's all that we really needed. He said that I've called you from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sail. How dare you allow the enemy to tell you you can't do what God said you can do.
called you that you're better than somebody else. God been calling people down through the years and you need to just appreciate the calling that God has on your life and stop trying to override those who God used down through the years because the same God that's using you is the same God that used them so you need to appreciate God and they receive something we think we got the anointing but the same anointing that you think you have is the same anointing that God has been blessing people with down through the years and if God desires to and you get too haughty in yourself he will take your anointing away from you and give it to somebody else so you need to appreciate what God is doing in your life They can still lead you to the God that delivers. They can still lead you to the God that sets you free. And you dare not appreciate the people that God places in your life. Last thing you attempted to do. When was the last time? 
have you invited somebody to the house of God? Yes, I know how it feels to be in the house of God. And you know that the power is here. And you don't want to have anybody here with you. But when was the last time you let somebody know that the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on? Stop waiting for somebody just to magically appear. This ain't Lucky Charms. This is the house of God. If you want somebody to come, bring somebody God is still blessing. Might not be able to sing like somebody else, but God is still delivering. And if you want to be delivered, all you got to do is get in the press. I'm going to make this statement to you and I'm getting ready to get out of here because we got things we got to do. But if you think about the woman with the issue of blood, she was going against what she was told to do. Die. 
the ways that God can make for you. And he don't want you to receive any of that. So 